Hi everyone and welcome back to my vlog. Um, I just read a book that's not due out until, give me a second, I'll check to double check the date. I'm just going to double check on the publisher's site what day it comes out. I know it's the middle of January, I just don't remember when. January 13th, it comes out, it's not even out yet. I got a very good opportunity to review a book that's not even on bookshelves yet, but I'm excited for it to come on because it was an excellently written book about one of my favorite art. <sighs> favorite authors, sorry, uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald. If anybody knows who he is, that's good. If not, I'll tell you who he is. F. Scott Fitzgerald is the author of one of the greatest classic classics I've ever read. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. Um, the Great Gatsby. If you have not read that book, you need to pick it up at a library or go buy it in a bookstore because it's an amazing book, much better than the movies. Uh, yes, I love Leonardo DiCaprio, but Gatsby can never ever compare to the book The Great Gatsby, so pick that up if you ever have a chance. So this book that I read is called West of Sunset by Stuart O'Nan. It is a novel that's coming out January 13th in bookstores, on bookstores. I'll put a link in that you can pre-order it on the YouTube channel uh, because you can pre-order it on Amazon.ca, so I'll provide a link there as to where you can pre-order it. Um, I think you can also pre-order it on bookdepository.com, but I'm not quite sure. Um, if you can, I'll provide a link to that too. For now, it is on Amazon.ca for $20.65, which it's going to be $32.95 after it gets on shelf. So I will get it now while you can because it's on sale on pre-order. So this book, West of Sunset, is about F. Scott Fitzgerald's last uh, year or so, like year 18 months, year and a half before he died. It's the last year before he dies or the last couple of years before he dies. And it talks about how he was working for Metro Goldwyn Mayor, so MGM the lion, you know, um, and how he would screenwrite for certain screenwriting. There's a lot of information that I didn't actually know about Fitzgerald that I learned in this book. It was a bit wordy, but it was still very well written and kept you very captivated and wanting to read more. It took me about five days to finish it, but I'm a slower reader than most. It's only about 289 pages long, so it can be a very quick read if you're a quick reader. If not, it I'm a medium paced reader. It took me five days, so. Um, he wrote a lot of films. Uh, the Three Comrades he was a writer on. He had written a few uh, parts of Gone with the Wind. So, yeah, like he did a lot of work in Hollywood as well as he was in the middle of writing his last novel when he died. So the novel that is his last novel isn't actually finished, but they published it anyways as an unfinished work. Stuart O'Nan is a writer I've never heard of before. Um... I'm going to be doing an author interview with him. I think I've gotten in contact with his, well, his wife messaged me on Facebook because I had posted on his 
author page that I'd like to do an interview with him so she got back to me right away and said he would be happy to do that so I'm just waiting on a reply from her as to where I can email him for my questions. Um, what else can I tell you about this book? Oh, um, it talks a lot about his wife, uh, Zelda's mental infliction. She was a schizophrenic. And it talks a lot about his daughter, Scotty, and their relationship. So, all in all, it's a well-rounded book. It talks about a lot of different aspects of his life, the kind of person that he was, what he dealt with, with his wife's schizophrenia, and why she was in mental institutions before she died and why she spent most of her life there and it's just a well-written well-rounded book i honestly i can't even begin to describe how much i love this book because my favorite author it's set in a time period that is like new hollywood new pictures films like the age of classical Hollywood not even modern day Hollywood and it's amazing to he hear kind of like a biographical biographical fiction on this author because it almost seems like he is actually Fitzgerald and I've never seen an author write a fiction that is so close to the truth that it made you feel like you were right there in that time. So for that, it gets four and a half stars out of five. Like, I'm not even kidding. This book is something you have to read. Stuart Onan, West of Sunset. Pick it up. You will definitely enjoy it. If you're a fan of Fitzgerald, you'll especially enjoy it. But if you're a fan of great fiction and amazing writing, you will definitely love this book. I'm surprised that I even was so enthralled with it and captivated by it because there's a lot of books that I am not captivated by that I'll read authors and I'm just like, oh, when is this book going to be over? But I didn't want this book to be finished. I wish there was more to it. So. With that being said, check out the link that I'm going to provide you and pre-order this book because honestly, I think you'll like it. Alright, have a great day. Until next time, Merry Christmas if I don't get a video up before then. Till next time.